I learned my first curse word at the age of four. Knew no better how to use it than a toy soldier knows how to wield a weapon. At 20 years old, I'm now told words are my greatest weapon. No wonder I've used them more often to fight than to heal, more often steal than say I'm sorry still. I'm told I have a way with words, but it feels like I've spent my life running from the serious ones like love and fuck and tough and love and fuck love. When you caught me in the barbed wire of my own tongue, you said the fence I built would never keep people out the way I intended because no one can resist the urge to climb when they find somebody worth protecting. Even when I insisted I can protect myself, you said stop. Stop running as if distance is a measure of your endurance. Run instead to the one whose distance you cannot endure. So let me reintroduce myself. My name is Tiffany, and I love you. I'm sorry it took a poem and a room full of witnesses for me to stop bullshitting and start admitting, and I'm sorry this is only the second time I've said sorry since meeting you because I owe you so many apologies, one for the time I wasted that I should have spent preparing myself for you. But it's no less true that I would auction away my spare parts to the wrong men again if it means I'd grow new lips so I could say you were my first kiss. New hips so I could say you were my first. Two, for expecting you to wait while I recovered from someone else's mistakes. And I'm not excusing myself or blaming him, but life after first love felt like waiting for the sun while standing in the shade. But you explained it to me nature's way, that a solar eclipse only occurs on the eve of a new moon, and that life in the womb is just a mother's way of teaching her child that darkness delivers the most intimate companionship. Three, for having to go so soon. When I leave for England, I will leave your fingerprints on all the doorknobs of my apartment. I will keep your dishes piled up in the kitchen sink, not as evidence against you, but to remind myself who I should leave the keys with. Even if we drift, we will drift at the same pace that glaciers form because water is the only substance capable of floating on itself when frozen. From across the Atlantic Ocean, I will dip my feet in the English Channel as it thaws. I will grow my hair out as promised. So when I return, It'll be long enough for you to run your fingers through. In honor of how we made it through eight months, five time zones, two changes of season, and if the winds blow just right, I might even reach five foot three. <laughs> but I know for sure that I stand taller now than when I first met you. I am less of a fighter, but no weaker than the soldier who spares his enemy's life. I am learning to be more than just the girl who's good with her words, because what good are words if I fear saying the most important ones? What good are my attempts at honesty when the truth is I rarely refuse what is asked of me? Yet the only favor I recall you ever having asked of me is that I return what I stole from myself when my body was a home. If my body can one day be called a home, it'll be because you lived here until my hands surrendered everything they took and shook instead at the feeling of being held when my hands can be held without wondering whether they deserve it. When my body compares to neither a temple nor a billboard, but a body content with no comparison at all. When my house forgives my heart for plundering its walls, we will be home.